welcome to examsendy.com. This site is going to be one stop site for all the exam Exam site is going to be a destination for students, exam days, preparation to video tutorial, exam package, exam syllabus, assessment class, FAQ, mock online test, solve testing papers, results, model testing papers, notifications, study materials, and exam patterns. Everyone, you'll see the video regarding the 8051 microcontroller. But before that, in last session, we have learned so many things based on microcontroller like 8051 timers, addressing mode, and instruction set. In that, we have learned like timer 0, timer 1, and different types of addressing modes and 111 instructions. And in this, we'll see the basic things of 8051, like salient features of 8051 microcontroller and its block diagram, pin diagram, and how the registers have been stored in RAM memory location and some of the special purpose registers. The basic features of 8051 is, it is an 8-bit microcontroller and it follows hardware architecture when it, when it uses internal memory and when it is accessing with external memory, it follows one human architecture. And why? Because it follows when we are using internal memory, it seems like hardware architecture in the sense. Speed of operation will be more and memory also is less and instruction size is not fixed in length compared to one human architecture and also it follows CISC so when we are following hardware architecture and it has 4 KB on-chip ROM memory internally and 128 bytes of RAM memory internally but it supports 64 KB. If you want to use all those things, then you have to connect 60 KB external memory. If it is not sufficient, then you need to go for external memory of 60 KB. So totally it supports 64 KB of ROM memory. And it has four ports. Each port has 88 pins. So totally 32 pins are there. And so here it is represented as 32 IO lines. Each port with 8 pins. And 8051 supports two timers, which is of 16 bit, like timer 0 and timer 1. And also, when we are using timers, we will not go for counters. And so, in this two timers ca comes under with timers also. And also, it supports serial port, which is of 1. And it is used in case of serial communication with full duplex UART. In 8051, including reset, we have six interrupts like external interrupt 0, external interrupt 1, timer 0, timer 1, serial communication interrupt and reset. So total 5, 6 interrupts are there if you include reset as an interrupt. These are the main features of 8051. And next we will see the block diagram of 8051. Here the first block is interrupt control. If any interrupt comes externally, the interrupt control block will come into picture. So here any external interrupts occurs, then default interrupt control will come into an action. And that will be connected with CPU. And here for this 8051 microcontroller, the crystal frequency which is supported is 11.0592 MHz. And on-chip ROM memory. It has 4 KB on-chip ROM memory. If you want, you can connect externally 60 KB ROM memory and 128 bytes of on-chip RAM memory. These two will be on-chip. This is the main advantage when we go for an 8051. And it has two timers, which is of 16 bit with each, like timer 1 and timer 0. And also it will be acted as time counter. So we have same pin for timer and counter, but based on the value, whatever we are giving, timers or counters will be selected. Time moves is used to generate time delay and counters which is used to count number of events, it seems number of pulses. So based on our use we need to select whether it we want counter or time. 
and bus control bus control comes in terms of arithmetic operation if any arithmetic operation has been done then bus control will take care of it here we have address signal data signal control signal all those things will be taken care by bus control and we have totally four ports in 8051 so totally 32 pins each with eight pins so totally 32 pins are there so here both data and address is there so we'll see one by one next and serial port serial port it is used in case of serial communication here we have transmission and reception all those things will be there and next we'll see the video regarding pin diagram of 8051 totally here we have 40 pins we are using 40 pins 8051 is a 40 pin controller so totally we have four ports port 0 port 1 port 2 and port 3 here port 0 is written byte addressable here port 0 is dual in nature like port 0 to port 7 will act as an in i general io purpose if when we are dealing with external memory then address low, lower order address will comes into picture so here port 0 to port 7 is there default it will be used for general io purpose but when address latch enable is one that case addresses will comes into picture and also when we are going for external memory so this is regarding with port 0 the first 40th pin is vcc it's a power control we are dealing with ports now so right now i'm saying about port 0 which is bit hidden bit and byte addressable port and port 1 it is single it is an individual so here we don't have duality so here it is used generally for general purpose for input and output operation port 1 is also bit and byte addressable area we can use for bit bits or else byte byte wise and port 2 here also we have duality in nature and port 2 is also bit and byte addressable pins here we have higher order address lines in port 0 we have port z port 0 to in port 0 of 8 pins we have higher byte address lines in port 2 with 8 bytes we have lower by lower address lines and port 3 even port 3 is also duality in nature so but default it acts as a general purpose io pins based on our need wherever we need to connect like lcd displays in which port we want by seeing the advantages and by our use we can connect to any of these ports like port 2 or port 1 or port 2 or port 0 but when when a is 0 then that time data lines will be selected but when a is 1 address lines will be selected ea is external access it is default active low this will comes when we use external memory when we connect 60 ab external room memory then external access will comes into operation if internal memory is not sufficient then that time all this will comes into picture even address latch enable also so we have seen already the operation when it is zero it will be treated as data lines when it is one it will be treated as address lines so based on that this ports also acts and it is program status enable so we'll see all those things back one by one and here port 3 port 1 is individuality so we'll go for port 3 even port 3 also default it will be as general io purpose but when any external during transmission and reception in terms of serial communication this will be this thing will be selected port 3.0 port 3.1 and will access in transmitter and receiver port 3.2 is interrupt 0 external interrupt 0 port 3.3 is external interrupt 1 port 3.4 is time of 0 port 3.5 is time of 1 and port 3.6 is right it's an active low when it is 0 when this port pin is 0 read write mode is selected when port 3.7 is 0 read mode is selected your crystal frequency 1 and 2 is there and finally ground 
These were the details regarding pin diagram of AT51. And next we will see the video of how the registers are stored in case of RAM memory location. Actually in AT51 we have totally 128 bytes of RAM memory. We will see how the memory is allocated for registers. Here you can see the memory from 00 to 7F. In 8051, we have totally of 4 banks like bank 0, bank 1, bank 2 and bank 3. Each bank is of 8 bit. Each bank is 8 bit. So totally 4 banks are there. 32 bytes, 32 bits, sorry, 32 bits will be allocated for these banks. So each bank has 8 registers like R0 to R7. Bank 0 has 8 registers, bank 1 has 8 registers, bank 2 as 8 registers and bank 3 as 8 registers. It is bit and byte addressable 1. So here we can perform both bit device and byte wise. And next is bit addressable area. We have separate memory location for bit addressable like 20225. And 30275 is scratch pad area in RAM in terms of RAM. This is totally of internal RAM memory location. Here we can once again see how the memory is allocated for registers. Here 0, 0 to 1 f general. This is general overall memory location. 0, 0 to 1 f all general purpose registers will be stored. All the general purpose registers will be stored in this location from 0, 0 to 1 f. And all the bit addressable area here, here also we have seen bit addressable area occupies memory location of 20 to 25. Nowhere else bits will be occupied only in this memory. In this address bit addressable registers will be stored. Whatever you allocate those things will be stored from 202 to F. And 3023F. Whatever the mode direct and indirect addressing modes when you are coming into direct and indirect addressing mode all those instructions will be stored from 30 to 7F. And only only indirect addressing mode will be stored 80 to F. Here both direct and indirect, but here only indirect will be stored from 80 to F, which is of upper 128 RAM memory. And this is also called a special function registers, or only we have two together. If you want to see separately, so maybe it can store only indirect addressing mode or direct addressing mode. This will be of Special, this board will be called as special function registers. This is what the allocation done for registers in terms of 8051 microcontroller. And finally, we will see the special function registers in 8051. ACC, which is an accumulator, it is an 8 bit register. It is default used for storing the result. In so many instru instructions, it will be called as a destination register because all the if for example if you perform add the result will be stored in accumulator default the result will be there in accumulator so it will be shortly called as ACC which is an accumulator B register B register is also an 8 bit register it is used in terms of arithmetic instruction when we perform multiplication division and if you perform multiplication higher byte will be stored in B register. If you perform division, reminder will be stored in B register. This is the, the, that's about B register and accumulator. And so many special function registers are there like program status word or processor st status word register, which is 8 bit register. It is bitwise accessible and bytewise accessible. Here we have Mm, register mode selection like or not or when so this is mainly used for selection of which mode like mode 0 or mode 1 we have or is or not and or when that is mainly used for bank selection and mode selection here it is stack pointer stack pointer all it is an 8 bit register it always points to the top of the stack whatever it is there it will points to top from top it will stores and it is a data pointer. We have DPL 
for lower bytes and deep H for higher bytes. In terms of 16 bits, we can go for data pointer. If you want to store more than 8 bits, then we can use data pointer. It's an IP. Next is IP, interrupt priority. If so many interrupts comes into your coding, then you can use IP. If you enable, interrupt enable is 1, then based on that, we can give the serial number of interrupts. We have 6 interrupts totally in 8051. If you give, for example, 2, that interrupt will be given as the highest priority and less rest of all will be treated as next next interrupt so if you want to select any priority then you can go for interrupt priority so lower priority will be selected as late and high priority will be selected beginning s buff serial data buffer it will be used in terms of serial communication and pcon it's a program controller sorry it's a power controller it is mainly used for power management. It has two modes like idle mode and power down. If peak one is 0, then it will be idle mode. If peak one is 1, then we can say it is power down. If power down, it indicates it is 1. So peak one comes mainly for power management. And next is timer mode registers and peak on register timer control. This we have already seen in terms of time mode PPTs. When we are dealing with timers, the timer mode will be selected. Here we have timer 0 and timer 1. So based on our needs, we can select timer 0 or timer 1. Here also we have mode 0, mode 1, timer or count, counter and gate. All those pins are there. Based on our needs, we can select. And timer controller. Here we have timer run, it's a control bit. And timer flag, it's a control flag. So all those things will be there. All this will come under special function register. In 8051, from 8027F, we have totally 11 bit and bytewise addressable area. So only 11 supports bitwise and bytewise. There is no separate register with bitwise. But totally 11 registers with bit and byte it supports. And still so many special function registers are there. Is gone. But this all main for 8051. Thank you for watching this video.